once we have our licensing email located, we've activated our platform, we have our administrator, now we can talk about the share and markup setup information. There's a couple of settings that are very easy to set and it's easy to get this tool up and running. So we're gonna see the platform and a couple of settings inside of SolidWorks. As we go into our platform, we're going to be met with a welcome screen. The first item we're seeing is a welcome tour. This provides some great setup information and navigational tips on the platform. Feel free to go through the welcome tour. It is worth going through when first activating your tenant. For this webinar, I'm going to close that window. Again, you will see the welcome to the 3D Experience platform. They do provide you with a great amount of getting started criteria. I'm going to go into my dashboards and cockpits list to start accessing some of the settings for share and markup. As an admin, I have access to the members management and platform management dashboards. If I go into the members management dashboard, this provides the space where as an admin, I can invite additional users into my 3D experience platform. If your company has more than one license, feel free to invite as many members as you have licenses. This also provides me with an overview of the roles, how they're being utilized, how many are being utilized, as well as the expiration dates of my licenses. Once any users have been added, I'm going to go into my platform management dashboard where I have additional settings on a variety of different topics. I'm going to click on the content tab. Under my drives control center, I'm going to click on share with external. I need to turn on the share content setting found here, which allows the members of my tenant to share content with people outside of my company via link. If this is not turned on, you really just won't have the ability to access share and markup. It'll be grayed out. Once turned on, I recommend you also turn on allowing external users to view and comment on those shared files. This allows you to take full advantage of the share and markup functionality. This is a global setting. This will apply to everyone on your tenant. The next couple of items are going to need to be done per user. I'm going to access my compass where I will see all of my roles for my cloud services tools and all of my applications. If I go into my 3D swimmer role, I will see all of the specific applications that are contained within my 3D swimmer role. First thing that we will see is there is 3D Drive, which we know Share and Markup is going to utilize, and then also 3D Play. These can be utilized on their own without the Share and Markup functions that we're setting up. This is where they are located. The 3D Drive needs to be set up on each user's computer. If I look towards the bottom screen, my screen itself says configure 3D Experience Drive for Windows. If you've never set this up, it will say install 3D Experience Drive for Windows. You will want to go through the installation and configuration process. It's very quick, but there are some components that it's going to set up within that process. One of those is going to be the location on your computer to serve as a local cache where these files are going to be shared to. Once this is set up, installed and configured, we can go into our task tray in our Windows taskbar, and there is a 3D experience drive located here. It's going to be the gray icon. If I right click on that button, I will have the ability to start or stop synchronizations and go into preferences. The preferences are where you can change, set, or update your synchronization folder. You can also choose which tenants you want to be synchronized or not. This is good to know if you are a contract worker and perhaps you have access to multiple tenants. You may only have one. If so, I recommend that you stay synchronized with your company's tenant. Once 3D Drive has been set up on the user's computers, I recommend that each user also install the Collaborative Designer add-in for SolidWorks. This installation is a little bit longer. It's a little bit 
just more involved because the file is bigger. It is an actual add-in for SolidWorks. So if I click on the design with SolidWorks, there's a little down arrow next to that icon. The platform will detect if anything needs to be installed. On my particular computer, I do already have this add-in installed, which is why I'm seeing the 3D Experience version, the hotfix number, and then I have two icons after that. Feel free to hover over those icons. A tooltip will be provided for you. You will see an icon to perform an installation if this is the first time you've ever done that. You will want to launch the installation. It will launch a wizard that will walk you through the steps. You can perform a hotfix update if you've installed this previously. On my screen, you are seeing an uninstallation button and the arrow itself allows you to create a desktop shortcut. When launching the desktop shortcut, all of SolidWorks will get launched. The main difference there is launching through this shortcut will automatically link into this specific 3D experience tenant. Once those items have been configured, downloaded, installed as necessary, we can go into SOLIDWORKS. There are a couple of settings in here to also be aware of when setting up share and markup. First place I'm going to go is my SOLIDWORKS add-ins. Because we just installed the Collaborative Designer add-in for SOLIDWORKS, please make sure that the 3D Experience add-in is turned on. That's what's going to access the add-in in the task pane on the right, give you access to your My Session app, and allow you to see notifications on the markups on your shared files. Once turned on, you can verify connectivity to your 3D Experience platform. We can see the My Session app and My Sandbox space up at the top. Also, as of the Service Pack 3 release, if you right click on any tab in your command manager, you will have an option to turn on a lifecycle and collaboration tab. This tab is specific to the 3D Experience platform. It allows tighter integration into the SOLIDWORKS system in addition to the add-in. I have a couple things grayed out because this file is currently not saved to the platform, but we can refresh my session as needed but what we're really focusing on is the share a file. When I click on the down arrow under the share a file, I will see those generic file types that we had seen previously in my screenshots. I can choose what file type I want to share. And once I click on the share a file button itself, that will start the process of sending the emails, generating the links for my recipient. 